No. <laughs> oh, and this is actually okay. quite convenient considering I have Ray here on the mic with me. This is going to be a Rosa versus Luigi matchup. What are your thoughts on this? Just sort of, you of course play Rosa, so what is her approach to this matchup? All right, for every time Luigi throws out fireballs, Luma can just jab him away. You don't even have to down B him or take the hit. Rosa could jab, he just eliminate them so easily. And Luigi, the only way he can get uh, to get in is to like cross up Rosa a lot, out of to her, her surrounding wall that she throws out with Luma. And right as you say that, gets that roll behind down smash for some nice damage. But right now, the lead is solidly in Tario's favor. One strategy that seems to be working out okay for so uh, Sofa King right now is retreating to that top platform. But I love the way that Tario, he's going for these burst options. You've seen him win neutral with dash attack like literally like five or six times already. Yeah, it's working out really well in the end. But Luigi's goal is just get rid of Luma with a fireball. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. You get one of those things every match, at least. Now with Luma gone, he could just go ahead and go ham against, Ro against Rosa now. Yeah, of course Rosa has really bad. Oh just, my goodness. He should be making it back. There oh, really smart there, okay. going high like that. Luigi just doesn't have the mobility to actually catch Tario. Yeah, but, he doesn't. But right now, Tar uh, Sofa King actually with the lead. The back nice. throw gonna uh, be able to take out Luma with the forward smash. Yeah, Luigi's back throw is a good way to get rid of Luma, but sometimes for that instant it doesn't work because Ray doesn't have enough Ray to get rid of this one hit. But even if that happens, he could just forward smash or some other way to get rid of Luma. And with that, they both have max Ray, so it's gonna be very scary. Oh, okay. Oh, and finding that amazing, baiting out the Nair like that, just going for jab one and jab two. Reacting with the forward smash, taking out Sofa King's first stock. Playing, look at the way he's playing so evasive right now. He knows that Sofa King has to start thinking about actually yeah. you know, getting the stock. He can't risk of getting in. You have to lead, don't push in as far as you can. Especially when you risk, especially when you get shield by that attack. Oh, goodness. Yeah. That up smash. Yeah, found that up smash, reading the roll there to get out of the corner. In general, Rosa's corner options are not that great. They're not. Uh, and Silver King's really to at least get a hit in against Rosa is, is to get some reason or roll in. And so far, it's not working out. All right, continue the landing. No, he lands perfectly. All right, get some hits into Luma. Chosen fireballs, but down B is a good option. Jabs is always the best one. Oh, get yeah, there. The bait. That's, that's one of the reasons why he can bait out that down B. It does not have a lot of lag, but it does. And if uh, Sofa King is already in his face, that will mean that he can win the exchange. Nice. He patiently wait. He walked back just so it doesn't case Tario comes in. Ooh. If he does it well, oh. the stupid punch. That saved him back right air? there. Oh, that's a scary move. Oh, now he's in the air. All right, he lands very fine. Jab takes him away. Edge guard, down B. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's time to... Yeah, tries to go for it. I wonder oh, if... Awesome oh, man. okay, yeah. yeah. That moment, he could have uh, back throw, but uh, Rosa went in too further, so he missed it bad. Yeah. He also missed that well. Yeah, and keep in mind, uh, Sofa King is one of our out-of-state players. I'm not sure if Tario is as well, but um, he definitely, you know, he came all the way out here to New York. He wants to stay in winner's bracket longer than round yeah, one. Yeah, he should at least. So, uh, and I know that this matchup is pretty rough for Luigi, but he seems to be, its a, he's getting a lot of reads. You he's, know, like, he's handling it well, actually. Oh, we're going to have a Switch character. Um, I find that kind of surprising. Ninja. Good Ninja. Okay. Where, is Venny here tonight? He is here. Venny is here. All right. Venny, I know that he's going to uh, stop for a moment to be glued to he's the screen. He's actually behind him. Kind of streams that Oh, he is. Okay. Maybe that's why. <laughs> then he just whispers, Go, Greninja. <laughs> Great Coco? Is that you, God? <laughs> is that you? All right. Town of City. Oh, were the names swapped, actually? I think no. so, because uh, when Rosa lost, uh, he was really upset. So I was like, okay, I got it backwards. I think I got the cameras backwards, not the names. I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure that out. It's all right. Well, in this case, it's pretty even right now. And I see Ontario like trying to use Osmash as the anti-air option whenever Luigi lands. Yeah, and it's one thing that we didn't really see last match, despite the fact that Rosa has some of the best juggling tools in the game, and, and, Lu and Luigi is one of the worst characters at landing. We didn't really see these extended juggles. 
Oh, tries to go for that sort of hard read there. 79% already on who we presume to be Tario. Oh, okay. Blocks <laughs> away from it. Cool but guys don't look at explosions. The hurt box actually makes a shrinker every time when he walks away. So with that well. Alright, using the walk, the pump, and we're gonna practice. Oh man, the triple spot dodge in the corner. Yeah, that's when Tari needs to win it. He's spot dodging, let me just wait for a big knock. Like that. He's gonna spot dodge and then super and then up be for the kill. Oh yeah, especially on a stage like Town and City, that would mean his death. Uh, and I then... landed on him. Yeah. Vinny actually came up behind us and gave a little bit of a uh, shake of the head. Yeah, you should know that. This, there's got to be some better options you could just land with Green Ninja. It seems like Sofa King is doing a great job of knowing when Tario is actually going to go in. Because, okay, like, he's, you know how he's spot dodging a lot of these attacks? Yeah. Like, Tario will be sort of dashing in and out of range, but Sofa King is actually figuring out when he needs to uh, go for those hits. Okay. He teched in. And he tech his places so uh, somebody can get some grab comes in. Okay, nice mix up. I almost wanted to save it, but he avoided any potential of punish. Another one? Yeah, he's definitely looking for this kill. And when you start going for those risky options against the Luigi, who's punished game, even at percents like this, is so strong. It's risky, very oh, yeah. risky. Especially considering he's already down by so much. He's almost been lapped in percent. 120 guards to go for a two frame, but it doesn't work out. Ooh. Oh, he wants okay. that read. <laughs> yeah, that's a point where you gotta make a read. Okay, okay, he waited. And he got the put for his kill. Really smart. That was actually, if you remember game one, when he was Rosa, he went for that same thing, got the jab, waited, baited out the option, then punished with forward smash. Tario not out of this quite yet, but 117% on him. Up smash well, might even do it at this percent. Especially if, you know, he has to put some more damage. Oh, that forward smash, yeah. He sent in his soap right with forward tilt, and that's how he got the forward smash kill. All right, so good thing, good stuff to either Tario or Sofa King. Oh. No, that was definitely Sofa King. That was never Sofa King. <laughs> he was not yeah. impressed. All right, so Sofa King winning that match. Is Sofa King the hatted one? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, all right. So we're going to be seeing more of our out-of-state uh, invader in uh, the winner's side of things. I'm not sure if we're going to get more of him on stream. Usually we do like to get the out-of-state people on the uh, stream set up because, you know. What state is he from? Showcase those guys.